Diva Cornejo, undefeated uh, middleweight female fighter. You're getting ready for your next fight, uh, September 20th. Tell me a little bit about your return to the ring. Um, well, it's going to be about a year. My last fight was November uh, last year, obviously, and that was in Sacramento. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back in the ring. And I uh, fight Tiffany Ward from LA, from Maywood Boston Gym, I believe. Um, it's her pro debut, but she has ability uh, seven years experience and um, has done a lot of like national competitions. Um, you know much more about her than well because working with her husband or whatever. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm excited to be fighting somebody that knows their craft and not just comes out and swinging like the crazy wild girl on the street. So um, it'll be good. It'll be good. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I feel well prepared and. Um, in my home state, so uh, I'm excited to have my family finally watch me fight. Okay. So. Where, has it been hard though, the process of trying to get your next opponent, you know, like seeing fights fall through? How, how frustrating is that? Uh, very frustrating. Um, emotional roller coaster the last year of trying to get fights and fights falling through and the opponents being pregnant. And, um, but you know what? Things happen for a reason and I feel much more prepared you when you were at 50 Cent's gym, you and him had owned your gym, you kind of co-owned the gym. Well, how did the steps come about where you started working with Floyd Sr. and Floyd's gym? Uh, well, with Sr., it came, yeah, we were there, he was obviously training um, uh, Andre Durrell there at, at my old gym, um, and one day he's just there, he's like, let me see what you got. So he just gets me on, on his hands, not even on pads. I give him a hard right, not even that hard because I didn't want to hit him too hard with my with my fist, my bare fist, and um, he's like, oh, he's like, he just, you know, asked me who was I working with, and he wanted to work with me, and um, he saw potential in me, and he saw greatness, so, uh, so I, at that time, I wasn't working with my old trainer, um, we had a fallout, um, reviews, uh, whatever, I won't get into that, I respect his decision, you know, months 